तुम्ही जर नवीन असाल तर माझं नाव आहे आनंद पवार आणि तुम्ही बघत आहात एमपीएससी महापरीक्षा गुरु यूट्यूब चॅनल चॅनलवर नवीन असाल तर चॅनल सबस्क्राईब करा बाजूला दिलेला बेल आयकन नक्की दाबा जेणेकरून आम्ही जेव्हाही नवीन व्हिडिओ अपलोड करू त्याचं नोटिफिकेशन तुमच्यापर्यंत सर्वात आधी पोहोचेल गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे अवर क्लास इज फॉर इंग्लिश मिडियम स्टुडंट मीन्स स्टेट बोर्ड इंग्लिश मिडियम स्टुडंट इंग्लिश एज देअर फर्स्ट लँग्वेज फॉर एच एल स्टुडंट हाय लेवल अँड टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू स्टार्ट right from second unit 2.1 and that is the poem animals written by walt whitman uh, before going to start this poem uh, in short i will explain to you the central idea of this poem uh, the title itself animals uh, is quite suggestive here the poet has written so beautifully about animals and he has compared animals with human beings in this poem he has discussed about certain qualities of animals and human beings actually here indirectly the poet blames that human beings have lost so many good qualities in various stages of his development what we call it evolution in the process of development man has lost so many good qualities you might be hearing from your parents or from your grandparents that man was not like that with centuries ago or a few decades ago man was very helpful cooperative he was very happy contented but in modern period in 21st century man has changed a lot he has become greedy he is he has become self centered so it shows that man has lost certain qualities so in this poem poet has compared human beings with animals and poet wants to live with animals because he is very unhappy with the behavior of behavior of man he thinks that man's behavior has changed a lot and man is not able to live with better than that animals are very means good and it is very easy to live with them so this is the central idea of this poem so one by one we will go and while teaching you must have textbook in front of you so that you can understand this poem uh in the introduction itself of the poem the poet says that the poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans to feel at home means be comfortable means poet feels so comfortable with animals than human beings what he finds complicated and false poet finds human beings very complicated and false man has changed a lot nowadays he is very complicated it is not easy to understand sometimes the nature of man the way he behaves and that's why poet is very unhappy and is he thinks that the behavior of man is totally changed it is false now it is not good so that's why he appreciate animals more than human beings so let's start the poem uh, first line i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self contained the poet very clearly says that he wants to turn turn transform poet well, is a human being but he wants to transform in to animal he wants to be animal he wants to live with animals because they are so placid because animals are so placid meaning of placid is given here not easily upset they never get easily upset they are happy whatever daily means they live they are means they never get upset but we human beings are getting upset for small small things we know that and self contained and animals are self contained self contained self sufficient means they are satisfied in what they have but on the other hand when we talk about human beings they are very upset all the time they are upset for certain things one or the other way he is upset and secondly they are never self contained who human beings so that's why he wants to change into animal and live with them so this is these are the first two lines second i stand and look at them long long poet says that he stands 
and looks at them long and long for a long time he looks at them he watch them he uh, observe them and then he comes to know certain good qualities of animals in third line we have a figure of speech here i will write down that line my stand and look at them long and long children here in this line the word long is repeated twice it is repeated and when word is repeated all words are repeated for poetic effect the figure of speech is repetition what repetition the figure of speech is repetition so in first line itself we have a figure of speech repetition i stand and look at them long long means poet says that he stand and he stands and looks at animals for a long time and what he finds they do not sweat and whine they do not sweat and whine sweat they do not take efforts and whine they do not complain more or less these two words are having the same meaning here sweat and whine so here also we have a figure of speech they do not sweat and whine they do not sweat and whine so here sweat and whine these two words have almost same meaning so the figure of speech is tautology when poet uses two words with the same meaning in that case the figure of speech is tautology so in this line we have a figure of speech they do not sweat and whine about their condition animals never complain about their condition they never complain complaining is a quality of human beings that is the difference between human beings and animals they do not sweat and whine about their condition they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins animal do not awake lie they don't have sleepless nights and they never weep weep means cry they never cry for their sins sins their misdeeds first of all they don't do anything wrong that's why there is no problem of having sleepless nights and having regret and having uh, and weeping these all things are done by human beings we do mistakes and after doing mistakes we weep we cry and we have sleepless nights but animals don't do all these things first of all they don't do any mistake so that's there is no matter of having sleepless nights they never weep and all these things they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins that is the difference then who lie uh, uh, who lie awake in uh, for in the dark nights we the human beings animals don't do all these things they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god animals never uh, make the poet sick making sick means disgust him they never uh, make him sick discussing their duty to god they never discuss about their duties to god who discuss about duties to god human beings we we always talk about our duties to god animals never talk about their duties to god not one is dissatisfied have you seen any animal dissatisfied no they are satisfied in what they have on the other hand if you see human beings no human being is satisfied he is very greedy he wants more and more not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with demented mad with the many of owning things many are crazy we human beings are very crazy and we are crazy of owning things means we want more and more whatever we want money wealth property and all means we want everything more and more we are crazy of owning things but on the other hand animals they are never dissatisfied they are never demented of 
they maintain with the mania of owning things they are satisfied in what they have what they have and they are not crazy of owning things that is the difference between human beings and animals not one kneels to another animals do not pray to each other they never pray have you seen any animal praying to god kneel kneel means pay dekhone apan jala prarthana karnyasathi bolto ki nahi that that is the meaning here not one not not one kneels to another nor to his kind that live thousands of years ago we human beings kneel before our ancestors those who live thousands of years ago sometimes we kneel before our ancestors grandfather great grandfather and all but animals do not do all these things they do not kneel in front of each other or to their ancestors because there is no need for them so this is also different between human beings and animals next uh not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth here in this line uh there is a figure of speech hyperbole i won't write here now just i'll explain to you not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth actually uh, this statement is quite exaggerated jala apan ati shakti asa mhanto ya statement madhe thodi ati shakti hai ki jagamadhe koni respectable nahi ani koni hi unhappy nahi actually jagamadhe प्रत्येक स्टेटमेंट दिस इज एक्टेड स्टेटमेंट दैट्स वाई द फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इज हाइपर बोल और हाइपर बोल एच वाईपर बोल वॉट दॉइस इन एनिमल्स नो वन इज रिस्पेक्टेबल एंड नो वन इज अनहैपी हाँ वेर इट इज सीन वेन ह्यूमन बींग्स आर देर इन ह्यूमन बींग्स respectable people are there some are respectable some are not respectable we respect certain people we don't respect certain people unhappy happy these words come in human beings for animals respectable irrespectable is these words are not there okay so they show their relations to me and i accept them and that's why poet is so happy with animals because they are so simple and plain they don't follow all these rules and regulations of human of human beings so poets wants to have relation with them they show their relation to me and i accept it so i want poet says that he wants to accept that relation of animals that is very simple they bring me tokens of myself animals bring me token of myself in this line also we have a figure of speech mine token to myself manje majhe tokens tokens manje virtues good qualities jala matlab majhe as good qualities mala as parat dile koni एनिमल्स ह्यूमन बीइंग च्या गुड क्वालिटीज ह्यूमन बीइंगलाच परत देत आहे थोडं कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन वाटते वाक्यामध्ये माझीच वस्तू मलाच परत दिली सो इन दैट केस द फिगर ऑफ स्पीच इज पॅराडॉक्स व्हॉट पॅराडॉक्स अंडरस्टूड व्हॉट इज मीन बाय पॅराडॉक्स इट इज अ फिगर ऑफ स्पीच कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी स्टेटमेंट माझ्याच व्हर्च्युज माझीच व्हर्च्युज मलाच परत दिली कोणी कोणाला परत दिले एनिमल्स रिटर्न द व्हर्च्युज ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स to human beings only they bring me tokens of myself token here good qualities such as simplicity innocence contentment and etc the meaning is given here they bring me tokens of myself they avins avins show they avins they show them plainly in their position we can see these qualities good virtues of simplicity innocence contentment in animals in their uh, when they live we can see that very clearly that they are very simple and these tokens they are returning to us they want us to learn all these things actually these qualities belong to us centuries ago but in development we lost them i wonder where they get those tokens and then poet says that towards the end of the poem the poet says that he wonders from where did they learn all these qualities human uh, animals from whom did they learn all these qualities and the answer is human beings from us they learn we belong to have uh, we used to have all these qualities did i pass that way huge times ago and neglig uh, negligently drop negligently carelessly we can say and in the last line the poet has asked us a question in the various stages of development did we lose all these qualities and the answer is yes 
Answer is not given here. But the answer is yes. Yes, we human beings have lost all these qualities in the process of development. And after all, means after all these things, we call ourselves developed man or modern man. But we have lost all these things. So this is uh, means a uh, very uh, opposite situation. One on the other hand, we have developed a lot. But on the other hand, we have uh, lost all these good qualities. So this is the uh, complaint of a poet that we have lost all these things. We have lost all these good qualities and these have been uh, taken by animals from us. Did I pass that way, you sense them and negligently drop them? And the answer is yes. Uh, so this is a very simple, this was a very simple poem. In this poem, we have seen certain figure of speech and uh, even I explained this poem. I hope you people understood it and for better understanding, one more thing I would like to share. You people read this poem. If you buy digest of Navneet or workbook of Navneet, in the digest also or in uh, workbook also, paraphrase is given of the poem. So that paraphrase also you read, you go through and you will come to know certain things of the poem. And one more thing, you buy a workbook and uh, you have to complete the exercises given in the textbook. And if you find any problem, you can talk to me. Okay, thank you.